Hey guys, this is not another sniper and I'm coming here with a video. If you guys didn't see the video I posted yesterday last night and well I'm not gonna explain it again, but fortunately this will be my very first boss rush of every single Resident Evil game I'm gonna do. Now fortunately I'm gonna do it like separately with each character I'm gonna be doing, but fortunately for starters this one will be with Leon in scenario A and then I'll be doing it all the way through scenario B with both Leon and Claire but before I start for this video only I'm gonna guys give you some piece of advice and guidance just to like help if you're struggling or anything like that in any residual games or survival or something like that so fortunately <laughs> Sorry about this. So, fortunately, the first thing you guys gotta understand is when it comes to survival games, you guys have to make sure you have to find any single item or any equipment you find in in the area and make sure you save it. Or if you need, there's gonna be a time we need to use the weapon or use ammo or something like that. Always make sure you scope out the whole entire area and make sure you don't miss anything because eventually if you pass anything you will struggle and you will eventually have hard time passing or defeating the boss or anything parts of the game so fortunately as you can see some of the areas are blue which means they're everything is completely normal but as you can see with the red areas which means there's still some items still there and I may probably some items you can get while well, some you can't because you need some keys or anything to get them so yeah but for another example let's say right here I miss an item and if you missed it that means you can't go back well you can but eventually you're gonna need to but that's not the point I was trying to make that's just one of the advice now as you can see in my inventory and just for the record I'm doing this in hardcore more hard mode when it comes to survival you're gonna need a lot of ammo a lot of items and a lot of equipment so fortunately as you can see I got plenty of handgun and shotgun ammo and I have grenades as well three flash and one explosion one and two first aid sprays and a knife but fortunately some players prefer like this is gonna be hard to explain but some players prefer to like I don't know like give <clears throat> give some advice to like hold more guns and hold more items but to, technically to me that's a bad idea because for example all I need is just one pistol and one shotgun but some players like to hold like two shotguns, two pistols, or multiple weapons. And I mean, that's a good idea, but that will also mean a lot of waste of ammo. So that's why I prefer only carry one gun at a time. So yeah. Also on the battlefield, you're also going to make sure if you want to customize or upgrade your weapons. But at this point in this game of course obviously you guys know that you can upgrade your weapons but you can find parts to make them more stronger or to help them shoot better for this example as you can see from my Matilda I have <laughs> a muscle break and a high capacity magazine so yeah you're gonna have to find parts to upgrade your weapon and they'll become stronger eventually later on in the game to defeat your <clears throat> defeat your enemies another thing I want to talk about is when it comes to ammo you guys have to learn that when you, if you guys gonna be encountering enemies like zombies or any other creatures you can try to take them out but some people think they're hard to kill or not really but for me technically they're not but you guys should already know all zombies have one weakness always aim for the brain in other words aim for the head that's their only weak spot now 
the way how I do it is sometimes, and like I say, you guys don't have to copy me, but it's just a, for a piece of advice. When it comes to like zombies, you always got to see, make sure you see that white dot as you can see, but sometimes players like shoot rapidly fast, which is a good idea, but sometimes they like to move. And as you can see, when it's like that, you can't really um, hit the zombie when you, so normally I prefer to make sure they, if you aim for the head carefully while in this state, and if zombies go down, sometimes any creatures can be like pretending to be dead. So what I also like to use is make sure it's always a good idea to have a knife with you and make sure like if a zombie was laying on the ground like this and knife them to make sure they're really dead. But if they're not, shoot them again in the head just to double check and yeah. Or you can try knifing them multiple times until they go down of course. So yeah, another thing I want to talk about is when it comes to grenades as well. Now, in some games you can make grenades and customize them, but in this point you can only find grenades. Now when it comes to grenades, some people like to waste them pretty easily, but to me that's a bad idea because grenades always are useful later on in the game. So fortunately, yeah. And normally I recommend only use your grenades and in emergency states like in cases like if you're getting surrounded by creatures or anything or if there's a boss fight normally I recommend use the explosive grenades not flash because sometimes some creatures don't have eyes and they can't be easily blind of course but in other words always make sure you save your grenades. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is healing items. Now, as you can see, as of course, I'm holding two first aid sprays. Now, of course, in every game, you're going to be seen with a health bar just like that on the left bottom. As you can see, it's green and perfectly normal. But in every single game, you should guys know green means you're perfectly fine. Yellow means you're in like bad situation but in red you're in critical situation which means if you take one more hit you're dead and fortunately you gotta start all over from where you last from your checkpoint so yeah so normally when it comes to first aid sprays like normally you can find these anywhere but in other games you can also find items like this for example like herbs and other stuff let me just uh, yeah like this for example if you find any healing items normally some players like to waste them by using them by themselves but technically that's not really a good idea because fortunately <clears throat> fortunately as for me what I always like to do is combine the herbs but for my example in some games, like in Resident Evil, you combine green herbs with a red herb, and there's also a blue herb in this game, but that's normally when you find it later in the game. But what I like to do is combine green and red and blue to make it look like this, so that way it can fully recover. But some people mostly like to think this is a good idea, and technically it is, but not really. Sometimes I like to mix with a green with another green you can mix three green herbs into one and that normally restores your full health but to me bad idea normally I recommend fine and keep a lookout for green herbs I mean yeah green and red herbs and combine them instead and also combine them with a blue herb as well and as for gunpowder or anything else to make ammo I recommend like save them for emergency only because if you're running out of ammo you're gonna need more so eventually you're gonna have to use gunpowder to eventually make more ammo of course but of course you guys can also make sure that uh, where is it okay there are also different types of gunpowder like for example these two gunpowders you can mix them with <clears throat> handgun ammo but as for these yellow ones, of course, you guys already know, you can mix it with the 
these you can make shotgun ammo and combine yellow with the yellow you'll make magnum ammo so yeah also for key items like I said when it comes to areas that you can't get like you need a specific keys I recommend hold on to them and save them because you never know when you're going to need them to unlock doors or any specific keys to get special weapons or special items you're going to need later on in the game. <laughs> but yeah. But anyways, that's all I have to give advice and give details. So yeah. But anyways, I hope this like... <laughs> video helps and gives like good advice like and like I said you guys don't have to copy me but still like I said always make sure you come prepared and make sure to save ammo healing items and save your grenades if possible because you never know what you're gonna be dealing with in the game and still but either way I hope this video helps and gives good advice so that's all I want to get give and share so yeah but anyways like I said for this video this is just to give advice and give you guys help in if you guys are struggling or giving like anything in this game or any other games that you have to do for survival always make sure you come prepared and don't miss anything but yeah but if you guys have any more questions or anything else, let me know in the comments and I'll explain more. But either way, with that said, <laughs> now begins the boss fights. And yeah. But either way, don't forget to like and subscribe. So peace out, stay safe, and enjoy the boss fights rush. Alright, peace.